Air Force Base. Ooh. Very exciting. Well, look at those horses. This city must be a very pretty city. There's always something related to uh, angels and demons, I guess. Where good and bad, black, dark. There's always two statues. And we had got ourselves another book right there. What does this say? A warning about unauthorized entry. There are strict limitations on what you can and can't do around here. Prominence Bridge. That's probably the bridge we're just gonna walk through right now. Nope, cannot be destroyed. Oh, I can have a lick though. What? <laughs> He's holding his penis. He's got a cute little halo. Shows how seriously they take their religion around here. Oh, that's funny. Is there a description about this guy as well? Yep, there is. The statue holds a moon-shaped object. It shows the true majesty of the Humbren with its beautiful, fierce appearance. Okay, let's have a look at this one. A pair of statues depicting the sun and the moon seems to have been made in worship of Lumen Sages and Umber Witches. Okay, there's a tornado outside, and what are these guys doing outside? There's a tornado. That's kind of weird. Oh well. Alright, let's move on! Is there someone standing on the bridge? Protection. Right idea, but not right now, right? Right? Yeah, uh, speaking of right, I'm glad I've been standing around waiting for you, because I knew we'd cross paths. See, the only way to reach the upper crust and their gated island of champagne wishes and caviar dreams is over Prominence Bridge. Oh, yes, the island. Lovely place, isn't it? Oh, now what? Don't play games with me. You've worked your magic on this poor defenseless child, haven't you? You're a sad, sick woman, you know that? I was her age when you killed my father. Oh my god, you did, didn't you? You killed her parents! Hmm. Come to think of it, she's better off with you. You two are more hassle than you're worth. What? Just keep a good eye on her, or you're going to catch hell for it. No good deed goes unpunished, and you never know when a monster may sneak up. Mummy, look out! Whoa, the bridge is breaking up. Mommy, no! Glad he has his Batman grapple. How could she see me? I wonder why they shot it as film. Maybe it was just because it was too much work 
uh, doing it regularly and they wanted to do something original so doing it this way was the best they could do. Yeah, it was really... Well, I died three times because of you guys. Not you guys, I don't mean you YouTubers out there. Not because of you YouTubers. I mean because of this game. They make like invisible walls. But when I try to go through, it doesn't work. Anyways, watch one of my videos and you'll see. I was as a bird and died two times trying to go through a door that was open. But there was an invisible wall there. How was I supposed to know it was in a hidden area? No way! So I guess I deserved a stone award for that. But I would not have given me that. I would have given me at least the platinum. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Angel attack. I really need to hit their head. I was aiming for the other guy. This one should be pretty easy. Oopsie. I didn't touch his head. 58 points, that's alright. I'm gonna exchange it. We're heading straight towards the tornado. Alright you guys, I'm gonna save right here. Don't forget to save the animals, kick some monsters butt. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hello, my name is Alex. If you happen to know of a neighbor that neglects his pet and you're not too sure what to do, you might want to check out my website, adapet.info. Thank you. And I'm gonna read some stuff. If you're not interested in the reading, uh, you can just skip to the next video. Purgatorial Center of the Trinity. One of the unique aspects of the religion. One of the unique aspects of the religion in this town is the people's belief that the world is actually made up of three unique realms layered on top of each other: human, world, inferno, and paradiso. The Trinity of Realities. However, the wavelengths of the spirit energy in each of these realities is different. different, and inhabitants of each are unable to interfere with the other's affairs, despite the fact the worlds are layered. It said the Lumen Sages and number of witches had the unique ability to pass into a realm known as Purgatorio, 
and travel amongst the Trinity. It is believed that the witches and sages each made contracts with the, ma the masters of the light and dark worlds and can use special abilities granted to them by their masters. It sucks that Bayonetta probably has a demon master. I guess we'll see further along in the game. Anyway, let me continue reading. Underlying all of this, though, is the presence of the Trinity of Realities. Even during the witches' hunts, it seems those suspected of being witches were lured into Purgatorio, an act that people call being spirited away, and their presence in the no man's land was used as justification for further acts of persecution. To further explain Purgatorio, one must understand that those within the realm are unable to see or touch those in the human world, nor are humans in their own world able to intervene in the affairs of Purgatorio. Moreover, what we identify as material objects may have different appearances in the different realities. Yet when these items are destroyed in one world, they will be destroyed in all the worlds. This may explain why many place religious interpretations upon the phenomenon of unexplained destruction that occurs during their everyday lives. That probably explains why so many statues are broken. And let's read the Angel's Banquet Hall Alphum. I'm not sure I'm saying that alright. Alphum? Alpha. Frigrid has long held the notion that the world is comprised of a trinity of realities, Paradiso, Inferno, and the human world. However, since the era of the witch hunts, where the Umber witches met total annihilation, the Gridians have held that Paradiso, the world of light, is the most perfect of these realms and have worshipped it as such. Yet as normal human beings are unable to experience the seven, the Vigridians' feelings regarding Paradiso manifest itself in various ways. Even the Porta del Paradiso, ruins of which remain to this day, were born of this fate and placed around the city as an act of Paradiso worship. These structures, stone dist, three meters in diameter, were said to re represent portals into Paradiso itself. We've traveled through those. It was believed that when the gods extended the peoples a helping hand, they would do so via the portals, guiding them to Paradiso. Thus the porta were placed in spiritually powerful locations. <laughs> I'm tired you guys, I've been reading too much. I have one more interesting aside. Within Paradiso, there are said to be secret rooms known as Alphim, where angels gather and hold their banquets. The Porta del Paradiso, created by man, are said to mimic the entrances to these Alphims. Legend has it that if someone were to stumble across one of these portals while in Purgatorio, they may enter an Alphim upon which the angels would entertain the lost survivor and bless them justly. And let's read the last one. Prominence Bridge. As part of the Itaval group's plans for the further development of Vigrid, the man-made island of Isla del Sol, a new urban center was constructed and outfitted with a new highway, stretching a total of 41.295 kilometers, and I guess that's 26.218 miles. As expected, traveling this highway, which links the major areas of Vigrid to the island, requires vigorous checks, and its usefulness is limited to Vigridian authorities. Itaval Group Materials Transports and a select group of authorized personnel. The bridge connecting the island to the mainland is an enormous oversea suspension bridge. The structures supporting the bridge's wires 
are shaped like the bright solar flares that shoot out from the sun's surface, giving the crossing its name, Prominence Bridge. It is truly symbol of the modernity that has come to Vigrid. Alright you guys, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for listening.